AMD just released Ryzen 7000, and that means one thing. I need Sub-Zero, and for once, we are doing it on the cheap. Turns out you can get a 120 watt thermoelectric cooler on AliExpress for just over $3. So uh, I went ahead and got 20 of them for a grand total of 2,400 watts of cooling. That's enough to cool the 7950X 14 times over. Throw in 40 heat sinks for a buck 50 each. And we have a horrifyingly inefficient chiller for just over $150. According to the data sheet, these things right here should be able to chill our water down to something like negative 44 degrees Celsius. This might be my worst cooling idea yet, and I know that you cannot look away. Just like you can't look away from this segue to our sponsor. Zoho Marketing Plus. Manage, execute, and collaborate on your next campaign with a unified marketing platform designed to keep customer and marketing data all on one screen. Try out Zoho Marketing Plus today using the link down below. Thermoelectric coolers, also known as TEX and Peltier modules, work in a surprisingly simple way. As you know, heat is just how much energy the particles have, and the more you heat them up, the more they start moving around. And this has some very interesting implications for when you heat up a wire. Heat up one end here. This is my beautiful flame. The electrons on this side are going to start partying all around. They're gonna be bouncing and stuff, and this causes them to become more spread out and just kind of move over to the colder side, like so. And this creates a voltage. Voltage plus, voltage minus. We can also see this by just heating up a thermocouple. So here we go. Is it doing the thing, Brandon? Yes. Cool. Now, if you connect two wires that are made out of different metals with a different number of free electrons, and then heat up one end, each wire will have a different voltage potential. And boom, now you have an electric current. This is exactly what happened in our thermocouple here. So we have a nickel chromium alloy on the positive leg and a nickel aluminum alloy on the negative leg. Techs work in the same way, but in reverse. So by adding voltage, we can generate a hot side and a cold side, and then we can use that cold side to chill our CPU. Of course, all of this was a gross simplification, and if you wanna know more about techs, I would strongly recommend this video by Electro Noobs. Also, electrons are actually waves, blah, blah, blah. Well, let's make a chiller. First step, we need to figure out which side of this Peltier gets cold. Uh, we really do not want to be putting 2,400 watts worth of heat into our processor. I guess right here, this side cold, this side is hot. So the text that we have right here is the cold side. Next thing I need to do is figure out how I'm going to get these heat sinks attached to our tech module. I'm kind of thinking zip ties. I really hope we can get a good squish with the zip tie because otherwise I see no way that I'm doing this without at least 80 bolts, probably more. This doesn't seem like it's working very well. There's so much space in between the zip tie and the block in terms of like the shape, right? Yeah, this isn't really working. All right, we have figured it out. We have this aluminum rail that was just sitting in the shop. Turns out it fits perfectly right between our thingies. Even with the tubes on, we have more than 20 holes in total. So we just, you know, clamp it together like that. Should work great. We do need to go to fasten all and get a bunch of bolts that are the right length, but uh, I think this is gonna work pretty well. You gonna start the day with LTTstore.com, Brandon? I guess we do. There we go. Today is gonna to be incredibly tedious. Basically, we have these techs, need to put them in here like so, and do that 20 more times. In order to make it so that it's not just splayed out on the table, I'm thinking that we're going to go five wide, so that's this wide, and then create an 80-20 extruded aluminum frame so that they can go up vertically, kind of like boop, 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 boop. Two and a half hours later, this is so much better than I imagined it would look. Now what you might be wondering, how the heck are you going to power this thing? Well, uh, here's the answer. Two 1500Is from Corsair. Uh, yeah, we're also going to have to use two circuits or we're gonna blow one of them. Now to connect it, we have these cable mod cables. They sent these over so that we could do, you know, very nice PC builds and stuff. Uh, instead, we're just going to be chopping off the leads and soldering them to these guys right here. We'll probably have to do two of these per EPS cable so that we don't you know, have the wires catch on fire. We'll verify that with the FLIR later. 
it should be fine. The loop for this is going to be absolutely ridiculous. Let's show you what we have. I went on with MasterCard and bought these nice little manifolds. So inlet, inlet, 20 outlets. Now these were kind of expensive. They're like 50 bucks a pop. There are a lot of ways that you could do this for cheaper, but I couldn't think of doing this for a way that is cheaper that didn't involve me tapping 80 holes. So uh, we did it this way. These plastic fittings I got suck. I've been at this for, I don't know, 30 minutes and I have less than a quarter of all of the stuff done. Let me look at this. So I'm threading it in. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's super cross-threaded, great. Now uh, we did clean out Home Depot of all of their brass NPT fittings. So those should be arriving here shortly and hopefully those will go in a little bit better. These guys were only 50 cents. The brass ones are like $3 a pop. So we did at least save a lot of money by buying these ones, but we're certainly not saving time at the moment. Manifolds are installed using top tier mechanical fastening techniques. And now just need to run all of the tubing. So this one to the top, bottom of these to this guy and so on. You, you know what's on the go. 80 tubing runs later and just look at it. This thing's a beast. I absolutely love it. It looks like a prop from Alien or something. Now we just have to solder 40 more times. First three techs are soldered up just to a PCIe cable right here. And if I hit this, we should see. Yep. Those are definitely working, 100%. All right, now we get to do the rest. <laughs> the plan for this loop is dead simple. Just simply two pumps in series so that we have lots of head pressure to get it through all of these stupid tubes. Gonna split like that, go around there, and our CPU block will be over here. Very simple, I need to build it. This might be the most Alex thing I have ever seen. It's so beautiful. Do we get to fill it now? Yeah, we fill it. Wait, what are we using for cooling? Is it water? This side's water. Okay. That what? side's antifreeze. Is this the hot side? Yeah, it's the hot side. Hot side. Okay, so what do you got going on here? You got a power supply just for the fans and the pumps? Yes. <laughs> so then we can independently, you know. Turn them on. Yeah, turn the pumps and stuff on. So then we can also like, if this either gets too hot or too cold, we yeah. can turn the Peltiers off or half the Peltiers off. Ah, did you show them how the fans are being run right now? Oh, the fans are so good. <laughs> All the fans are connected together using 10 fan splitters. Wait, into one? One Molex? No, into two Molexes. We oh, have two okay. Molexes. Oh, okay, that's not as bad. Okay, all right. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> God. She's getting a little excited there. I'm running out of water, Alex. This is gonna be a problem pretty soon. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> turn it back on. What are you doing? Okay, yeah, yeah, go, go, go. Brandon, or Alex, I'm gonna run out of water. Okay, Alex, it might be fine. shut it up. Okay, wow. We made a little bit of a mess. We should add in our dye. Think about how cool this is gonna look when it's all purple. Cause the other side is antifreeze, so it'll be green, right? Yeah. Do you need an adult to open that <laughs> for you? I'll just send it, just put the whole thing in there. Screw it. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, damn, Brandon, you getting this, Go, brother? go, 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 go. Oh. Oh, get. <laughs> Don't shut it off, just send it, brother. We might need more dye. Oh, well, we can worry about the dye later, <laughs> Alex. Is this leaking? Yep, it's totally just leaking. The top of this reservoir is leaking, Alex. Oh, that's fine. God, there's so many air bubbles. Well, and also it's going through down here, but it's not making its way up. If we just pinch off oh, like the bottom weird. ones. Oh, oh, it's working. Oh, it's working, holy <laughs> We're like surgeons now, you know, when they clamp, it, cramp an artery. Come on. Oh. You know you want to. Yes, come on, yes! There we go. Come on. Yes! Oh, let's add some dye. Yeah, that's a brilliant idea, Alex. Wow, that was really easy to take off. Is anything leaking? We didn't even check. It seems okay. Yeah. Oh, I think there's only one left that doesn't have it. Is this thing like broken or something? Is it like pinched somewhere? What if I just crack it for like a split second? <laughs> <laughs> Turns out it's a really bad idea. Mmm, <laughs> tastes like purple. <laughs> well, let's see what it happens now when you turn it on. Yeah. There we go. Oh, it did it. It's, no, it's still no, it's not. not. Yeah. I can almost guarantee when we undo these clamps, all of these are just gonna be like Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It seems like we do not have enough head pressure. So what we need to do is add another pump in series while well, it's filled. <laughs> I mean, the lines are like sort of pinched off. I also unplugged the power supply in case we make a big watery mess. Yeah, that's 
pretty smart. While we're in here, we should also, this fitting started leaking and the cap of this is leaking because there's no gasket <laughs> in here for some reason. I do want to replace this one. Yeah, we should do that. Let's get this pump on first. Why did you put such a long extension? I don't know. Okay, well, that seems like it's working. All right, send well, it. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, leaking quite a bit. There's an internal gasket on these D5 pumps that uh, maybe it's just missing on this one. Does this gasket go on the other side? I think it goes on this ridge. Great. Oh, inside. Yeah, inside mean, right there. That would make more sense. Why was this taken apart and assembled improperly? Well, it might still leak, so hold your tongue, okay? This one's ripping now. Oh, baby. Oh, we did it. Maybe. Uh, uh, might have spoken to Maybe soon. this is just a bad design. How do they do this in the in the real world? Like big, big pumps? One reservoir. Yeah, this is not doing anything. Cool, let's get rid of it. Ugh. We should clamp this one too. Oh, I'm sure this other pump is loving that. <laughs> Just being submerged. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's fine. I like how we haven't even thought about overclocking anything yet. I now have all the standalone D5s in the office. Cool, we're just gonna stick this one like right on top of this thing. Yeah. Just like that? Yeah. Beautiful. So I guess, are we good to... Send it. Holy shit, Alex. Sort of. Is it the pressure drop from all these rads? I think it's just all of the air. I think once we get the air out, it'll be fine, but we can't like burp it up here like we'd want, as we found out. <laughs> Flip it upside down. Flip it upside, that's not a bad idea. How about we just like tilt it? Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's working. I'm amazed this hasn't leaked. I'm very glad we did this with just the dye and not the antifreeze. <laughs> <laughs> Why are those bottom ones dead now? What yeah, the hell? What? Why is there such a blockage after it? There's just so much air locked in it now. Oh, it's really, this is one of the crappy tubes, too. <laughs> uh, get on, get on, get on. Stick it in okay. there. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> All right, is she good? I think so. <laughs> that made a weird noise. <laughs> it's still not flying. All right, I give up on that tech. Yeah, Let's whatever. cut the wires and call it a day. So I guess, do we just have a whole other power supply for this side's pumps? Oh my God. Yeah, I guess. See, this one is loose, too. Who the hell is like going around loosening the D5 pumps? <laughs> we have the opportunity now to just add another one, should we? F it. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, that's a nice one. Good thing we're gonna ruin it. Let me put a sponge in there first too. <laughs> yeah, that's smart. Wow, there's like no bubbles anymore. What the f is this abomination? <laughs> <laughs> this is a work of art. It's 2,400 watts of cooling. What are you cooling with this? It's also 2,500 watts of heating. What are you heating with this? Send four. Okay. It's like kind of ripping. Yeah. It's getting there. The sponge. <laughs> it's just vertical now. Oh God. That is thick. That's oh, like yeah. molasses, brother. Do you want to hit the pump and I'm just gonna send it the with the press stone? <laughs> is this even gonna work? We should have pre-mixed this. Is it even pumping it? Oh yeah. Yeah, this is dangerous. Oh, it's so thick. Alex, pour. I'm pouring. Don't over pour whatever you do. <laughs> is this the safest thing we could use for this? Probably not. <laughs> Help me tilt this. No, I'm genuinely surprised none of these manifolds leaked. They're from McMaster Car, they're mint. Well, but like user error leaking. Oh, oh that's it's not moving at all. No. You don't think cracking it while it's off is gonna? <laughs> I feel like it's gonna cause a this, problem. This was the one before, right? Yeah. I say we just kill those two. We lose two. Yeah, whatever. 200 watts of cooling. Oh no, tragic. Yeah, I guess before we attach the uh, computer, should we run the text, see what happens? Definitely. Heck sure. yeah. The block's can, getting cold. You can really see it on the FLIR. So the Stick one side right my now forehead. is like 30. The other one's like 10. Oh, that feels great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so nice. <laughs> Just do that again and look over here. <laughs> There's a square on your forehead. <laughs> Ooh, it feels nice. These tubes are getting very cold. Oh, oh! Shit. Do you remember that one water block that the water wouldn't flow through? There was a reason for it. We still don't know why the water wasn't flowing through it. Maybe it's clogged, maybe it was hydro locked. It doesn't matter. It exploded. So we took it off and coupled it and we're just not gonna use that tech anymore. Rebled the system. It seems like it's good now. Should we hook up a Ryzen to this? Yeah. How cold is the cool plate? Oh yeah, it's frosty. How cold is that? It's reflective. Uh, yeah, it's reflective. Yeah, we can't really get a read on this with the thermal camera. I'll touch it with my hand. It's cold. These look so cool, look at that. Now very quick, I just need to prep this motherboard for Sub-Zero. And by prep it for Sub-Zero, I mean just lather it in Vaseline. So I'm gonna take off the socket cover here so that on the back side I can lather it in Vaseline. Did you see all these capacitors and crap that are all over here? That's prime condensation area, so I don't know. We just pack it with Vaseline as long as like air doesn't get around it and 
you know, the moisture in that air comes out of the air and onto your CPU, we should be fine. This is awful. Yeah, we're gonna give the CPU back to them and they're gonna be like, what the <laughs> hell did you do to this? Oh my God. This is an engineering sample, we can't keep it. Oh my God, Alex, what the f are you doing? I am making sure that this CPU doesn't die. Is it the right orientation? I can't even tell. Yep. Is it in? Yeah, I guess we probably should give her a little bit more around the sides. I want to help, but I also like don't. How much power should we be drawing? This is about 750 watts from the wall. Oh, that's disappointing. If we have two times 700 watts, that's still a lot of cooling. Yeah, that's 1400 watts. But it's not as much as we were expecting. Ah, AliExpress, damn. I think this one's getting a little cold because there's no coolant running through it. We learned an unfortunate thing. So AM5 comes with its own backplate and it turns out also EK's AM4 solution has its own backplate, which is not compatible with AM5. So we're hard mounting it. The AM5 bracket is screwed into the socket, so you can't very easily take it off. Is the coolant getting any cooler? Oh, wait, we're getting there. That's almost five degrees now. The other side is still like 27, so we're That good. is certainly cold enough to cause us problems. How cold is that block? Eight degrees-ish. It looks like it's booted. Is this monitor on? Hello? Yes. We did it, oh. yay! Get that HW info open. Core temperature is 12 degrees. Yay! <laughs> still gets pretty hot. Well, but 63 degrees isn't too bad given that it's targeting 95. <laughs> and it's at 231 watts. 37,000. What does it do? Is this the graphics card just like shitting? Why are we at like two FPS for a little bit here? Something's not okay with this computer. It was working totally fine earlier. What did you like, cool it or something? It's almost like someone put a bunch of Vaseline in the socket. <laughs> Damn it. Damn. Oh, that's very unfortunate. Should we just let, let the BIOS do its like yeah. automatic overclock? Oh, why did the BIOS reset? We weren't even running with XMP on. Let's try a five, six. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Voltage 1.1, uh, 3.5? Jesus. This is not gonna boot. Okay, okay. okay. 5.6 at 1.37 volts. Uh, Currently the CPU is at 15 degrees Celsius. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, let's, this is probably gonna crash. HW info, hello. Ah. I saw 54 degrees. Jeez. Oh yeah, I know it got up to 80. I think this thing needs to be delitted. What did our package power get up to? 282. <laughs> I say we drop the RAM speed and up the voltage. These rads are working great. It's a lot more than we needed, especially yeah. considering that they're only drawing like 1500 watts total. Even with them not drawing the power that we wanted though, and those two crapping out, it's 1,170 watts of cooling. All right, we're gonna do 1.42 voltage, 5700. Sure. 50. Yeah, 5700. And I'm gonna turn the RAM back. Yeah, I think JDEC's fine. This is the most immersive overclocking I've ever experienced. As our CPU slowly gets wet to the point <laughs> it dies. Ah, huh. hello. It's still doing that, eh? Yeah, it's not happy. Maybe this GPU is just crap. Maybe this CPU is just crap. I have no idea what you're talking about. I say we just send it. Yeah, see what happens. Which comes worse, it immediately crashes. Goodbye. 16 degrees. Ah, oh, yeah. man. But it doesn't crash, it's weird. Try it one more time. Come on. Blender, just to see if it like runs. Yeah. <laughs> it's not yeah, stable. it's not stable. What about 1.4? At 55? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hello. Oh, she's hot. We're doing 293 watts right now. 5.5 gigahertz, we're, we're stable. <laughs> 40,000, like almost on the dot. Damn. <laughs> I don't know if this processor is gonna get us much higher. This also is like a third faster than the 12900KS that we had in liquid nitrogen. So really? Like, yeah. Holy crap. That was like 29,000. 298 watts on that one. With this processor and our experience level, it seems like we're not gonna be able to do much more than 40,000 Cinebench. But at the same time, <laughs> that's pretty freaking good. This is one of the worst things I have ever done and that's really saying something. <laughs> Unlike the segue to our sponsor. Backblaze, starting at just $7 a month, Backblaze offers an affordable and easy to use cloud backup solution. They make it simple by allowing you to back up almost anything from your Mac or PC and access it anywhere in the world with their web and mobile apps. Backblaze even lets you restore your data by mail. A hard drive with your data will be shipped right to your door and once you're done, you can return the hard drive within 30 days for a full refund. And if you're worried about accidentally deleting files, you can increase your retention history to a year for an extra $2 a month. With over 55 billion files restored and two exabytes of data under their management, Backblaze has got you covered. So don't be that person who forgets to back up their most important files. Sign up and get a 15 day free trial with no credit card required today at backblaze.com LTT. 
Thanks for watching. If you like this video, then I don't know, watch the one where me and Brian the electrician oh. did a mini split and attached that to a computer. That was cool. That was cool.